this place. Uh, again, don't ask the what three words, uh, but we are Galloway Forest. We finally made it, and we're not far from Loch Trawl. Um, so we had to go to Newton Stewart, I think it is, um, to collect four parcels, two from eBay and then two from Amazon. So we had to go to the Sainsbury's in Newton Stewart to get the eBay ones and then a little walk to the post office to collect the uh, Amazon ones. So that's all done. Uh, right by the Sainsbury's is an Aldi. So we did that and then we just come here. So we literally drove up and down this road. Uh, we, there's a park I've been to before, all the way over there somewhere, um, but that's packed. So we took a drive back. We noticed another van had sneaked in one of these little slip roads and then we found this one. So it's not a main road or anything, but came down this road, came down here. <coughs> it ends. So we've sneaked the van in here. Uh, that's like a biker's track just down that way. And there's another space for another van. Um, why have we come here uh, just to escape and get a bit of peace and quiet and it's a place where you can just leave the door open and Stinky can run around and chill out but also the weather warnings have come in so tomorrow is supposed to be um, really bad strong winds heavy rain all day on Friday so I just hope these trees don't fall down but it should be pretty sheltered and just chill out here. Um, B2B's solar panels are working amazing today. So literally where, when I left the other place this, this afternoon, this morning, uh, I was down to 60% on my batteries. So that means I've consumed over the past few days uh, 120 amps of lithium. Um, which is quite a lot, only because I've been playing Xbox and doing other stuff and this and never. So today driving, <laughs> Uh, with the two beta bees on and the 600 watts of lithium 600 watts of solar uh, I was pulling in 74 amps as I was driving so by the time we got to our to Sainsbury's and then got here we we're already at 100% so that's pretty good going as far as I'm concerned uh, of recharging the lithium so this is us for a few days uh, we're just going to chill and then we're going to do a loop back to where we've came from today to that free camping spot and then we're hopefully going to go and meet up with some friends uh, sometime next week when they finish at Van Life Chill and then then we can start the rest of the convoy around the coast anyway we're just going to chill out here for a bit see you in a bit are you sick yet? in a bit it's also kind of funny because um, I've not really done this route before I've, I've been around this area before but not all around the west coast like I planned to do so and I've come back here after doing all the parcels like I said earlier and I've just realized that almost two years ago um, I had partly converted the van and I had come up to this area uh, to meet a friend and then all of a sudden the day we left here to go to Aviemore area Scotland went into a lockdown and I got stuck up here so it's like two years ago uh, I was pretty much in this area and I've only just realized that how mad is that and I was over there somewhere parked up two years ago yeah, it's pretty cool, pretty epic. Madness to think that two years ago I was in my van. And back then, um, my van that I had uh, wasn't the greatest uh, build. Uh, it wasn't the greatest electrics either. Um, I struggled that winter. Um, it was a really cold, uh, epic winter. And uh, because my electrics and all that sort of stuff wasn't the greatest, I was having to sit in complete darkness with no lights on pretty much, use rechargeable lights as and when I'd been driving, um, just as long as I had power to keep the heating going. Mad to think that that was two years ago. And now, 
like the other night uh, it dropped to two degrees outside the van uh, we put the night heater on the gas on which maintains about 16 degrees but with all the thermal insulated screens they were all down uh, we were batting down for the night it was 24 degrees I had to keep turning the heating off because it was just so warm uh, but that's comparison to like two years ago to now madness to think where I came from and where I am now but that's evolution that's how you learn uh, and that's how you get better as a person so onwards to another couple of years Go on, then. go on. He does not like the rain. Go on, go for a wee, you fucking lunatic. Go on. He doesn't like the rain. Come on, then. This is uh... a. Yeah. Go on, then. Go on. We are going for a little walk. Backpacks on, emergency supplies in case we get stranded, uh, bare, bare knuckle fighting equipment in case we come across some wild bears and uh, wild animals and all that sort of stuff so we can survive. Uh, Antarctic coveralls and survival rations in case. Uh, the ice age comes back so we're pretty prepared for a, a little walk so we just left the van <clears throat> and me and Archie Board are just literally going to get a walk just a few couple of miles in to our legs and just chill out that's it Sunshine. Oh, it was the river. <clears throat> We've had quite a lot of rain the past couple of days, so the rivers have swelled up. But beautiful though, eh? <clears throat> so this is something that I keep promising to me and Archie while we're on this adventure is just to get out and do some more walks for Alf put some morals back in the legs and my uh, previous work and injuries are starting to catch up more and more with me now as I get older and less active so just to be able to get out and do something, especially with the, with Archie, because he just loves being out. So we're just about to go over this Indiana Jones style bridge. Archie's leading the way, the Pathfinder. Stunning. <sighs> 
So one thing that uh, it is now the 1st of October today, um, there are still a few midges around. Uh, they only become apparent later in the evening. So uh, just before last light, as the uh, night times come in, uh, the midges seem to come out quite a lot. So we were stood out last night chatting to some people in another van that had to arrive for one night. And uh, yeah, dogs and Archie were playing <clears throat> and we were just, I was getting not intense as they normally are, but there was quite a few midges around. And the temperatures at the moment, averaging around six to eight degrees overnight. We have had one night where it dropped below freezing, uh, not below freezing, so two degrees just above freezing. Uh, but the insulated screens, they've been used now. And uh, the other night when it dropped to like two degrees, I put the night heater on, which maintains about 16 degrees, <clears throat> but inside the van was 24 degrees. I had to keep turning the heater off. It was like Sahara Desert in my throat, but it proves that the insulated screens are working and the insulation is working, but it's still not cold enough to properly test it out, which we will do in a later video. How about this? <clears throat> Just stunning. Yeah. So I've got a question for those, um, I don't normally, I used to wear a watch in the military, you have to, uh, I don't really, I haven't really worn a watch for a long time, probably since I left the military, uh, but I'm, I used to have a Fitbit as well which I know records your steps and all that sort of stuff, but what I'm looking for, uh, and anybody out there that can help me, is a watch so one it not a fitness tracker but one that records your steps and all that sort of stuff that's uh, I guess rechargeable um, as everything is in this day and age but I'm just have to like a one that can track where I've been what I've done uh, just out walking and stuff like that um, so if you've got any ideas uh, just let me know. Just leave me a comment below and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, I'm after like a, a, a watch that does tracks your steps and heartbeat and all that sort of stuff. So if anyone's got any reviews or recommendations, uh, let me know. I think I need to give myself a goal like those 10,000 steps sort of things um, a day. I'm getting hot and sweaty now. Yeah, that's it. So this is uh, Martyr's Tomb. So we've been following this track to come and have a look at it. <clears throat> and it's just uh, hidden off the track, off the main track, just down there. Uh, there is a tombstone and there's a plaque and he basically says in memory of, this, of six martyrs who suffered at this spot for their attachment to the coveted cause of Christ in Scotland, January, I think that's 20th, 1685. 1685. I'm still on something that was erected in, whether, it, yeah, it must have been in 1685. That's mad, isn't it? Absolutely bizarre. And Archie, as usual, paid his respects by peeing up the wall. 
This is epic. So this is one of the things we wanted to get out and see. Little things like this. The historic side of Scotland. Beautiful. Alright, let's crack on. Go on then. Go on. Go on. Go on then. Go on. Yeah, so if you're ever in the area, make sure you come and visit. Come on then. Come on. Martyr's tomb. Archie wants a stone as a memory of his visit to the tomb. Bless him. So I am gonna go and give where the fuck is it? I can't see. My M Y M I Rye My Rider because I bought the fucker. I didn't get given it, I bought it. So I got my friend I can't see anything because of the sunlight. Where are you? Where's your van? I think you're there. You gotta stay here, Stinky. We're gonna go for a ride. On our my riders. So, let's do this shit. Hi there, thank you. Big, big kick ass puddle coming up somewhere. Yeah, this is up pretty much the end. Then turn left. Trust me to get a camera out when there's potholes all over the place. <laughs>